It's time to look for the music. Get Fluttershy. Yay. <laughs> Walking through Ponyville and reading your list, you decide to go and find the Pegasus Pony in charge of the music for the festival. The list says she lives outside of Ponyville, an old cottage made to look like a tree. You approach what you assume is a cottage. There's the only house outside of Ponyville that you can see, of course. And decide this must be the place. Continue to walk, you examine your list again to double check. On the other Pegasus that lives here in charge of music and a parade, you can't see any musical instruments, or any other pony for that matter. However, you hear a lovely voice from behind the cottage and decide to go and investigate. As you walk behind the house, but I am innocent and helpless. I have too many fanfics. As you walk behind the house, you see an orchestra of woodland creatures and birds being led by a yellow Pegasus pony. Decide this must be the pony you're looking for. Okay, now it's your turn. Remember, I can't sing for shit. What an amazing voice! As badly as you need to talk to her, the pony seems rather busy. Shay, you know what? I learned something from watching my little pony. Florsha is a little shy. Wait, Pash, wait patiently. After all the stress of losing your memory, you could use a rest. Besides, there's no harm in listening to her work. And the one and the two. Although the animals are clearly not as gifted as Florsha, you have to admit, this is the best song you've ever heard. Of course, it's the only song you remember, but it's still pleasing to hear. Pleasing to the ears. Pleasing to the ears, of course. As the song finishes, you can't help but clap your fists together. What you didn't expect, however, was for all the animals to scatter. Like, with the exception of Flourishai, who seems to be having a panic attack. <laughs> Best. Okay, I like the graphical design. It's awesome. This thing. This Flourishai. Awesome. You startle her. You startle her. Far more than you have planned. You smile nervously. You only want to talk to her. But let me just scare the birds away. Or the rest of the animals. Um, mm, um, uh, oops, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt anything. She begins to shake. Mm. Oh, before looking at the ground. She seems to have no interest in talking. Still, maybe it's the best. It's the best to start with introduction. Um, whoa, my name is Anderson! Are you flash shy? She mumbles something that you can't understand and looks away. Sorry, I can not quite hear you. What was that? Yes. I'm Fluttershy. Um... Really, both of them seem like asshole moves. One trying to get her in bed and another one like, Yeah, I am an asshole. Like, really? It's a household one. And what a great name. Well, sorry, game, but you're forcing me to do what I don't want. Fluttershy. That name will suit you. Uh, um, thank you. Well, at least I got her to talk to me. So, Twice sent me to check up on our friends who are preparing for the celebration. You're in charge of music, right? It's coming out. Great. Thanks. We've been working extra hard for the celebration. Are you the silent type? Are you not talk? You're not talking much. Have I, um, said something wrong? I'm sorry, I just, um, I had to get back to animals. It I mean, oh, that's okay. I have a lot of practice to do. Um, it was nice meeting you. ANDERSON! That sounds weird. Fluttershy gives you a small wave before walking away to find her animal friends. That I scared off. You suddenly feel as though you have gotten off the wrong hoof. On the wrong hoof. Maybe it should be easier to talk the next time you see her. You give Fluttershy one last look, look before turning around and begging, and beginning to make your way back to Ponyville. Well, that's all for Fluttershy. We'll be back.